Hi there. Now before we start part C here, just to recap if you hadn't watched parts A and B, um, I've updated the diagram that we've been using for this ball that was projected from the point A, 8 metres above the ground, to the point B. It was projected with a speed of u metres per second at an angle of theta degrees to the horizontal here. Now in part A we found out that u was 7.2295 and so on and in part B we had to work out the angle theta which is 53.347 degrees. Now for part C we're asked to find the minimum speed of the ball on its path from A to B for two marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this just give you a moment to pause the video. When you come back, I'll take you slowly through the work solution so you can check your solution against mine. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. Now, the speed as it travels from A to B, you can see varies. It was projected with a speed of U meters per second and just before it hit the ground at B, it was moving with a speed of 2 U meters per second. Now that minimum speed though is going to be achieved at the top here, okay? Let's just mark that in. It's moving in a horizontal position at that peak here, okay? At the maximum height of the trajectory. And because we can split U into two components, one vertically and one horizontally, it's the horizontal component which stays the same throughout the motion purely because there is no acceleration to gravity or no acceleration should I say in that horizontal sense it's perpendicular to G acting here. So this component of U which is U cosine theta, U cos theta is going to be exactly the same as the speed here U cos theta then and that will be our minimum speed. So we've got then that the minimum speed, okay just put that in, minimum speed is going to equal u cos theta. And we've got our value for u, it was 7.2295 and so on. And we need to multiply that with the cosine of the angle theta. And if I take the unrounded version for that, that was 53.347 and so on. And that was measured in degrees. So do this on your calculator and you should find you get 4.3157 and so on. And rounding this say to one decimal place gives us 4.3. 4.3 meters per second to one decimal place. All right.